So this is 20, question number 2.15. What is the maximum number of emission lines when excited electron of a hydrogen atom in N6 drops to ground state? So here what they are trying to tell is starting from the ground state. I am just drawing the levels here. I need to reach up to the 6th level. This is the fifth one and this is the sixth one. So when I name them n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So as per the question, an excited electron is present in the sixth orbital. Right? So when it drops down to the ground state, how many possible emission lines can be seen during this entire transition from n is equal to 6 to n is equal to 1? That is the question. So for this, we need to see that number of lines produced, number of lines produced when an electron in the sixth orbit in the sixth orbit drops to the ground state to the ground state equals n2 minus n1 into n2 minus n1 plus 1 divided by 2 so this is going to be the formula that you will use in order to calculate maximum number of electrons and the maximum number of emission lines if you want to see when they are dropping from one state to the other. So here when they say N2 value is 6 because that is where our electron is, it needs to drop to N is equal to 1. So this is N2, N1 value. We will just substitute it in the uh, formula here. So this is equal to n2 is 6 minus 1 into 6 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2. Now this is equal to uh, plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled. So here, so here 6 minus 1 is 5 into 6 by 2. This will be 3 and therefore we will have 15 lines. So now when you are telling that it is going to have 15 lines which is a maximum number of emission lines out of the question just let's just see what are those 15 lines that are there. So here we can say possible emissions the possible emissions here will be that when you look at this line it can move from 6 to 1. It can be from 6 up to 2. Then it can fall from 6 to 3. Then 6 to and 6 to 5. So here from 6 it can fall to any possible lines. So here we can say that the transition can be from 6 to 5. From 6 to 4. 6 to 3, 6 to 2, 6 to 1. Now, we can also say that when it is falling from 6 to 5, from here it can further fall down. So, we can have 5 to 4, 5 to 3, 5 to 2, 5 to 1. So, here we can also have 5 to 4, 5 to 3, 5 to 2 and 5 to 1. Now when we say that the electron is falling from 6 to 4 or 5 to 4, from 4 further they can go down. So we can also say 4 to 3, 4 to 2, 4 to 1. Similarly when it comes somewhere 4 to 3, it can further go down from 3 to 2 and 2 to 1. When it is from 2 to 1, it can fall here. 
all right so here so here when we are telling these possible transitions if you see when it is from six state you have one two three four five so here i have five transitions here one two three four i have four one two three there's three here there are two and here there is one so when i add up all this five plus four nine plus three twelve plus two 14 plus 1 15 therefore we have 15 lines which are the maximum number of emission lines that are seen when electron is in the sixth state and which wants to be dropped to ground state